So we're starting to have these conversations leading up to July 12th, just to open up some dialogue in our community, talk to Caribbean Canadian singles out there in Canada, um, and you know, share what their, their triumphs are, what their challenges are, as far as looking for love in 2021. So we invite you to participate in this conversation by sending your comments or questions in the chat. And the, between the three of us, we will answer or engage you that way. So please share the live, share, share, share the live. As many Caribbean Canadians we can get participating in this conversation, the more well-rounded the conversation is. All right, so July 12th, it's a speed dating event. I'll give you some background. Um, you have to register on a waiting list. Right now we're looking to see if we can get more or less even amount of women and men registering on the waiting list. It's free to register on the waiting list. And once we have the same amount of people, then we're going to send out the ticket price. The ticket price is between 20 and $30, no more than that. On July 12th, it'll be a video conference, a private video conference. It will not be live streamed. It will not be recorded. It will not be published anywhere. It's a private event just for those who have registered. And of course, there'll be um, a host as well, just guiding the whole, guiding all the registrants and guiding the whole event. Um, and the registrants will break out into rooms. They'll be paired off into rooms. They will have five to seven minutes to get to know each other. And after five to seven minutes, they'll be automatically placed into another virtual space to talk to the next um, participant, the next registrant, until you've met everybody. When that happens, everybody comes back into the main space, main virtual space. You're back again with the hosts. You're going to privately submit the names of the people that you sparked an interest in. We're going to cross-reference all of those names and see where there's a mutual interest between two people. And then we will connect those people offline. And then it's up to them to continue the conversation. Patients to actually stick it out, get to know the person. Yeah, I think that's a good point. And I, I think it plays an effect because, you know, it's funny when I, when, when sometimes I'll, I'll, you know, talk to people and you know you hear people get married after you know a couple months of knowing each other and for me that was like wow you really know that person so now it's just people wants that they want it now and it's all about and we did touch on you know uh the, the, the social media uh mentality where everything is just out of fingertips right and you know what it could mean a great things, great things for for virtual platform, because then instead of dressing up and you know driving to the club and driving here, you know right here you're like instant, you dress good from the top up, right? I would say dress good for everywhere because you never know the camera might fall, <laughs> right? So I mean it, it could work out. Great, but I think uh, you know the lack of patience is is very it's key. We want it now, and so this is the reason why. And we also talked about you know asking specific questions. You know, and you know we talk about we have five to, five to seven minutes and, and and these speed dating segments, right? So you need to ask specific questions, and the other person shouldn't feel like they've been judged or interrogate interrogating right they should just okay understand and they get a chance to ask specific question because you want to know sometimes because we're you're talking about love space caribbean canadian love space it's not you know let's have let, let's be friends and let's try things no we're, this is something that potentially can lead to something serious long term so the more specific you are then the less patience you're going to be become, right? Because then if I ask you five questions and the answers based on even two doesn't really align with me, I'm already going to make up my mind. And to be honest with you, maybe sometimes that's not fair. 
because then you can get to know the person, right? Instead of judging the person based on that one or two questions. So yes, patients are really, really is important and it can work both ways, right? Yeah, I agree with you, Oliver. <clears throat> I think that, you know, just in the today's world, everything is, you know, quick, quick, quick. Drop it in the microwave, 30 seconds, it's done, right? You're on line, you're you're looking at different different social media. We're doing the, you know, you're you're kind of scrolling, scrolling, scrolling. Everything is is very quick. And with relationships it's a little different than that. You, you need to put some more time in and have a little more patience. So just because you don't hear what you want to hear in the first, you know, 30 seconds, minute, you know, whatever, or a person, you send a text and you don't get the response right away, it doesn't mean the person's not interested in you, right? That's a big one. <laughs> right? You send a text, you don't get it. Yeah, you know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and uh, you know, today people are expecting that, but you also have to understand people have lives as well, right? And and the fact that you're not in a committed relationship yet means that you you just gotta have to wait a little bit more and understand who the other person is, um, and you know, just their their qualities and just understand the you know. What they do and and then you can get into more of a rhythm rather than just judging quickly and then you know moving on and potentially doing what camille always says which is blocking your blessings don't block your blessings right give it a chance so that that's what i think and i'm interested to hear what our viewers think on this issue about this lack of patience you know that you're not getting the response to the text right away, or on the other on the other flip side is the person's asking too much questions. So for some people, that's off putting for them. Like whoa, whoa, whoa! Like ask me yeah, that on yeah. date number yeah. four. Yeah. Why yeah. are you asking me that now? Right. So it's like you know. <laughs> some of that is instant gratification again, right? It's just you know I'm I'm firing questions at you, peppering you with questions, but it's like slow down a bit. Let's. Take it one day at a time, right? It's, you don't need to know everything in the first five minutes, right? But is it, is, is it, because now I'm thinking about it, because I mean, when we were younger, I'm just speaking from a male perspective now, we have all the time to take it easy, get to know the person, right? True. Yeah. <laughs> now you want to get into, you know, a serious That's relationship, you, you're thinking long-term, um, you know, you just want to get these five questions answered so you can move on to the next, <laughs> right? So there you go, instant gratification and it could play against you because what's so, you know, what's the rush to get these five questions answered? But at the same time, you want to get that out of the way so you don't waste the other person's time and your time. So it's very, very tricky and I find that the more, the older you get, that's where you'll find yourself in that category where, you know what, I'm serious, I know what I want. And, you know, if you don't read, really reach, if you don't, can't answer these questions and it's aligned to me, I move on to, I'm moving on to the next. So it, it's, it, you know, now I'm thinking about the question in terms of patience, it's, it's very important, but we can't be, too much of an instant gratification, right? I don't want to repeat myself, but then it can turn against you because then, you know, get a chance to know the, know the person, get a chance to ask the same five question in a different way if you need those questions to be answered, right? Okay, and my next question, just continuing where you guys just left off there with regards to text, for example, because I, I, I have heard that where the person's not responding quick enough. So let's let's talk about some practical, realistic expectations for the singles out there. Somebody texts you, says, hey, how are you? Do you want to meet up? How long is, is like an acceptable amount of time to wait for the response? Is it 10 minutes? Is it an hour? Is it a day? Is it a week? 
what is acceptable before you're like, you know what, this person is not serious. That's that's tough. What do you think, Mark? That's tough. <laughs> yeah, you know, I'm probably the absolutely worst person to ask that question because anybody who knows me, I'm non-responsive on, on a lot of texts and I'm not very quick to respond to Here that. You go. Here however, you go. however, if I were dating and, and and especially if it's new, right? And I'm in a relationship and you know, you want to put that best foot forward. You, I best be looking at that because I'm. That's something that I, I want to make sure that the person knows that I'm interested, right? I'm not going to wait days to, to 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 respond, but I think you know, you know, two to three hours should be sufficient as far as I'm concerned because people are constantly. You know, that's a long unless time. Unless you're on a job, <laughs> it, it is a long time. But but I think you know. If you're if you're in a job where you know you may not be able to use your phone, or you may be preoccupied in a meeting or doing something else, then or driving. If you're in a job where you drive, I mean it's not easy to just respond to text. You texting when driving, right? A lot of uh, companies have those types of rules. So really, just depends on the person. But I would say if it goes beyond like the two to three hour mark, I think it may cause some sign for um, a, red, a red flag for, for the, the, the other uh, person that you're dating, right? So what if that person, Mark, is not a texting person? What if they, just like yourself, because you said it right off the bat, just like yourself, they're yeah. not really, yeah. they're quicker to pick up the phone and call. They, they, they're really slow on the text. Why would you give that person red flag right away? Right. Well, but then that's when, so you have to get to know the person, right? And if that's the, the you know, the way that you guys are going to communicate and you know that you want a response, make the phone call if the person prefers phone calls, right? Some people prefer to text and hide behind their device, not really hide, but, you know, that's their preferred method of communication uh, versus, you know, talking on the phone every, every few minutes, right? Yeah, the reason why I said I was interesting, Camille, because everybody's different. For me, and, and this was an issue too, when I was dating in terms of not responding to phone calls or I remember even pager dates, right? <laughs> not responding. You're dating okay. yourself, Oliver. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> not responding to phone calls, but to be honest with you, I used to do it purposely. I actually used to do it purposely. Because if you, not that I want to get you annoyed, but if you really, really want it, then you'll have some patience, right? So yeah, go ahead. And that was what I was waiting to hear because that does happen on both sides, not just men, the women do that too, just to play hard to get or Correct. you know build up the anticipation. Correct. So Follow-up question is, do you think that that technique or tactic can work now I, I, in 2021. Good point, good point, me, I don't me, think so. Me personally, I steer clear from there. And that's just me, right? Be yourself, you don't need to play games, right? It's just like, hey, absence, I'm, I'm absence interested. Absence made a hard go funder, man. Oh, I, no, I, I, I live oh, by no. that. Absence may make the the heart move on. Correct. <laughs> In today, no, no, in today's days, yes. Right? That's the point, yeah. So, you know, you just have to be careful. I mean, be yourself. If somebody you're truly feeling, why am I playing around with you? That's my future, right? Uh, to, to, to Camille's question, I really don't think that's a good idea now. Hmm. It's too fast paced. Like I said before, um, you know, you wait, three, four years before you even have a conversation about marriage. Now, after within a year, people are talking about marriage. That's that's a long time, a year to some people. Now, yeah, I, but I even think that, that that's another topic of conversation is just love and marriage because are people getting married as much as they are, were before? That's, that's the next topic. So right. marriage could make somebody just go boom and turn the I'm right. out of here. But you want, let, you let's get not, what? okay, let's not talk about marriage. Just yeah. they'll move in or they'll take mm. it really seriously. Like I think people now are using a really short 
space of time to really start, you know, really taking the relationship seriously. And I, I, I don't think that's nothing is wrong with that. It's just that it's the error we're talking about. We're just talking about this error right now when it comes to that's why I don't think that's why speed dating is a thing now, right? And, and that's why I think the virtual, even virtual speed dating, no matter what the new norm is going to be, the virtual world is the virtual world is going to take over because it's just instant gratification. It's right at your fingertips, right? Um, you don't know if I take a shower. You don't know if I put on a deodorant. You know that I'm talking to you. You know that I shave, right? But mm -hmm. instant gratification. Don't have pants on. <laughs> <laughs> right? You're assuming that I have pants on. Right? <laughs> no, we're, we're hoping you have pants on. <laughs> <laughs> right? So the instant gratification will work because you don't have to go drive and drinking. What about drinking and driving? Yes. Even if we're going to go to Martin's, right? Just come home late and worry about traffic and all. We're right here. Yes. Yes. So speaking of virtual speed dating, for anybody who's just tuning in right now. We're having an event on July 12th. It's hosted by the Caribbean Canadian Chamber of Commerce and Community. My name is Camille and I'm joined by two of my family members, also board directors, Oliver and Mark. And it's the first time we're having this type of an event, right? So the chamber, we don't, that's, this is not normally what we do. We don't host dating events. We, and you can look us up on our website, ourchm.ca. But just in the times now with the pandemic, and there are a lot of people who are single and going through it alone. And of course, it, you know, it, in some cases, it leads to mental illness, you know, having to go through something so traumatic by yourself. And in talking with our friends, community members, even members of the organization, we discovered that there's a need there's a need out there. There's people are looking for love and don't know where or how to find it. So we're having this event for the first time and we're hoping with, you know, from the feedback of the July 12th registrants that we'll continue having this moving forward. And it's, it's a, an, a, ver a video conference, private video conference event. It's not a live stream event on July 12th. It's a private event just for those who have registered. You can register on our website, O-U-R-C-H, m.ca slash community um, and all of the events are there um, and you can register for this one in particular and we're looking for right now we're focusing on helping caribbean canadian singles right singles people who are actually single right you and everybody around you knows you're single right it's public information that you're single um, looking 25, if you're looking for any, a partner ages 25 to 35, 35 to 45, or 45 to 55, those are the different age groups we're targeting right now. We're also targeting people who are looking for monogamous, heterosexual, long-term relationships and or marriage, right? So not short-term, not quickies, not one nights, not booty calls, right? We're talking about long-term and or marriage. Now we will have different types of events moving forward, but this is the one we're talking about on July 12th. So we're looking for more men in particular. We started advertising this a couple of weeks ago. We got a lot of ladies who have already registered on the waiting list. It's free to register on the waiting list. Once we have enough men to match the amount of women that we have already registered, we will then send you the ticket price. The ticket price will be about 20 to $30 maximum. On that day, you're coming on this video conference dressed to impress. Your hair must be tidy. You, you, you must be wearing presentable clothing and you have to be visible on screen. So no dim lighting, no mood lighting, no strobe lights, no lights off, like on. Like see how you can see us right now? That's how the people want to see you on July 12th. Um, and you have to be sitting down or standing up, not lying down in your bed or on your couch, right? Or laid out on your backyard lounge chair. We need to, the people on the other end who are potential prospects for you need to see you, right? So it'll be a very safe, respectful environment as well. I know there's a concern out there 
We talked about it on Wednesday. People are afraid to get hurt. They're afraid to get rejected. And that might be a reason why someone may not register for this July 12th event. But we want to guarantee for you right now that the hosts will do everything in their power to make sure that it's a very comfortable, fun, casual, safe, respectful environment for everybody who's on this July 12th speed dating event, right? Because we don't want anybody, that's not what this is about. This is about people who are serious about looking for love. And what we're going to be doing, as I mentioned at the beginning of this um, live, is that we're going to be pairing up the people in different rooms, private spaces on the conference, the video conference. They'll have five to seven minutes to ask whatever they want to ask and get to know each other in that five to seven minutes. Right at the seven minute mark or around that time, you'll be automatically placed into another virtual space with another prospect. And you go through the same thing again. You're asking whatever questions that you want to ask. And I think we've already talked about it, right? You got to be careful the questions you're asking, even in this virtual space, be careful, right? You, you want to keep it light. You want to create a space for the person on the other end to feel comfortable sharing. Keep in mind that they've only known you for, they're only seeing you for the first time and getting to know you for five minutes. Don't be asking overly personal questions. Keep it light, right? Favorite type of music favorite vacation spot, what they like to do in their pastime, you know, keep it really, really light and casual so people feel comfortable. And even if you're not interested in the person, we also are going to encourage you to just stay civil and get to know that person in just like a friendly manner for five to seven minutes. So again, it's not about rejecting people or setting out to hurt somebody or just, you know, we want to be mindful that everybody's being putting themselves out there on July 12th, and we know that you're feeling vulnerable. And so we, we also ask the participants to respect each other in that way. So that's what's happening on July 12th. The other thing we kind of uh, touched on, on on Wednesday past was this whole social media era and how that has affected the dating scene. So would you gentlemen like to comment on that or share your insight or feedback on that? And of course the viewers can also put their comments in as well. Even after the, the live stream, you can continue to keep the dialogue going by putting comments in. But what do you think about social media? Has that helped or harmed relationships, connection, uh, dating, getting to know people? What do you guys think? I think, um... I think it's it's supposed to help, but I think it's harming because people are you know people are using social media because you know, you, if people take their emotions to social medias too, right? Especially in a relationship, and they'll tend to quote unquote maybe put the other person on blast or whatever it is. People break up over social media and stuff like that. You know, I guess maybe something that, you know, it's new, it's it's real, right? If you can meet somebody in social media, I guess you can break up on them on social media, I get it. But once you use it in the right way, I think you'll be effective. And because this dating thing um, is probably new, to a lot of us, uh, I don't think people are really taking it uh, effective. They're not using it effectively. Just like I just explained just now about, you know, instant gratification and there's so much positives into virtual space when it comes to social media and, and dating, right? But at the same time, you know, people, I guess they're not really equipped with the new norm and social media. Because it could be intimidating, you know. If you're not used to just on the screen and not talking to a real person, it could be very intimidating if you're not used to all that. So, you know, I, I'd say it's, for me personal, per, from my perspective, I think it's a 50-50. I, I think some people are still not really on it yet because, you know, some people don't even have a social media profile. Right? And, you know, for me, that's shocking, but at the same time, I understand it because then, 
you know, if you're to force to get a social media profile, then what, right? Then you're not going to be using it uh, effectively. So that's just my take when it comes to the social media piece. Let's let's be honest here. Social media makes you lazy, right? It makes you lazy. You don't have to go nowhere. You can roll over on the side of your bed, grab your phone, and just do whatever for hours, right? Is it is it is it lazy though or instant gratification? Both, I think. Both. You 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 know you, you, you once you have a phone, do you need a companion? You got your phone, right? Like that. And some, if you look at it, you kind of get lost in the phone, and you're on Facebook, you're on TikTok, you're on Twitter, you're on Snapchat, you're on, there's so many different things. And what's the next one that's coming out, right? Like, it's just, that's what people are consumed with. And as you're going through and, and sliding, sliding, sliding on your phone, next thing you know, two, three hours have passed, right? That's the lazy part, why I, why I say lazy, right? But then it's like, okay, when are you going to spend time to go and find somebody you're only watching other people business right like or you know you're into your phone right so i that's part of the 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 mentality i think where you know people will stay single a little longer because they're not making the effort to actually go out and and find somebody and you know back well, in the day another, before yeah go ahead there's another twist to that though right because yeah. some people, you know, especially now, they might have, you know, some apprehensiveness, you know, to go outside and do stuff and go into bars, go to clubs and stuff like that. Why? Now, though? Because of the pandemic or just overall, well, yeah, that even before too, that? Over, yeah, because of the new norm, whatever it's going to be. So I would, I would flip that because I totally get what you're saying. It makes you more, you know, complacent, right? Uh, but at the same time, Guess what? Guess where everybody's at, right? Everybody's at their phone. So if I can yeah. be on my phone and I can really text, you know, if I'm dating, I can get my text out to five or 10 people. Why not? Right? Yeah. Uh, yes, it makes me complacent or lazy, whatever term you use. But at the same time, we're, we're really heading into a whole different world. So um that complacent could be a good thing because it's just that's just the world the world is right so if if everybody's on their phone that's where to meet them meet people where they are right yeah, and, yeah. and and you're totally right you, you're all caught up into this virtual space because everybody get this hit of dopamine and liking and sharing and seeing other people's business and commenting and all that stuff. That's the, that's the real world. So why not kind of follow people where they are, right? So uh, um, again, I'm just leaning towards that instant gratification, you know, um, with, with a different era, different culture. It's a challenge. Based on the, the, your culture, based on all your race, it's going to be a challenge. That's why the virtual space has been a challenge. But it's one of those things, you know, you have to kind of get used to. Great conversation. We're going to get ready to wrap it up soon. And we're going to continue this convo leading up to July 12th, which is the virtual speed dating event. It's called Caribbean Canadian Love Space. One more thing I want to add about social media. Be careful, be careful what you're posting. Because maybe that gentleman that you were interested in, and it seemed like you guys were vibesing, and all of a sudden the man went missing, perhaps he dug up your accounts and didn't like what he saw, right? And vice versa. So put your, <laughs> just be careful what you're posting and don't think that it doesn't all relate, you know? So take responsibility, take accountability for how you're presenting yourself in the world because what you put out is always what you get back in return right the other thing okay. i want to say is um this conversation we're having here is not meant to bash 
men. It's not meant to bash women. It's not meant to just put everything on a negative spin. We're really just opening up a dialogue and we're going to come together as a community and figure out what is the solution. Because if you know anything about the Caribbean Canadian Chamber of Commerce and Community, we're about solutions. We don't really sit around a lot talking about problems. We talk, we spend most of our time talking about solutions. So that's what I'm going to put out the question. One last question to the gentleman here is we've talked about this lack of patience. We've talked about instant gratification. We've talked about how social media is kind of impacted our motivation to get out there and put effort, put much effort into anything really. Um, what is the solution? For those who are looking for love, how do they overcome those challenges? The challenges of instant gratification, the challenges of lack of patience, and the challenges of getting stuck in social media land and not wanting to do anything other than look at their phone. And they're not living in the present. They're living on their phone, but they're not actually living in the present. What, what, what advice or tips can we offer our community? And I encourage our viewers also, any advice or tips you have, to put it in the comments. Um, the first thing that comes to my mind is get out of your comfort zone. Because already the pandemic itself forced us already out of our past comfort zones. And look what, we all adjust. And the whole, the whole thing is we must adjust if we want you, we're talking about, you know, love space, right? If you want a, a, a partner, we must adjust. Adjust with the time. Adjust with, um, now we're just specifically talking about social media. Adjust where social media is heading, right? People are not using on Facebook now to, to really watch other people. People are using on Facebook now for business, for, you know, you know pitching other people. And also, um, you know, potential dating, right? So we must adjust. That's the first thing that comes to my mind when it comes to what is the solution, right? Adjust um, in terms of, you know, right across the board. Just, just adjust because then, you know, we, 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 you know, we've been talking about the virtual space, right? And that, that, that's it's challenging. But guess what? After a while, when you start doing it over and over, you know, it's just part of nature, right? So I just, I would say that's, it's key. I would say, be yourself, be authentic. People want to see who you are, not who you want, who you think they want you to, to be, right? So just be yourself, be natural, you know, <clears throat> smile. We, we in this world don't smile enough. Like in our environments, we are not, uh, I mean, smiling goes a long way. So just be authentic, take it easy, and just be yourself. Sound advice from the gentleman on the panel this evening. And I'd like to add to that by saying, trust yourself, face your fears, live in the present, visualize and manifest the same way you could write you could put vis, um, vision boards together as far as goals you can put vision boards together as far as how you want to uh, act or behave when you're in the dating scene put some keywords down right as far as what you want from the partner and how what you're going to give to your partner and the last thing, and this is a big one, because every time we bring it up, it's always like, geez, right? We, we end up talking about it for like another hour or so, but it'll be the next one, I think. My final advice, suggestion, and I'm no expert by any means, is we need to work on our emotional intelligence. When you master your emotional intelligence, doors start opening. Blessings are no longer blocked. Yeah. Field of possibilities, full potentiality. Right. So put a pin in that. That's that, second yeah. on the that, that just reminds me of I always say, be the person who you want to attract. 
right? Because it's aligned with emotional intelligence, right? And just like Mark said, be yourself, be real. Guess who you're going to attract? You're going to attract somebody who's real and somebody who like you just the way you are. Right. And you know what? A lot of what we're saying here is not new, right? Like this stuff is in all kinds of dating books and self-help books and it's everywhere, right? But I think people get numb to it over a while. They hear it so much. It just sounds cliche at this point, but really and truly, it really does start with ourselves, right? It really does. Everything starts with what we believe, what we value, what we emote, right? What we put out there. And I know it sounds cliche, but it's a fact. You can't get away from that. So rather than blaming the other person for not responding to your DM fast enough or whatever, you're not finding the right one. They're asking too many questions, whatever the situation is, you need to turn it inwards. What's going on with me? Really take the time, if nothing else, take the time to really get to know you as a person. Dig deep. Dig. I'm talking for those who are looking for long term. If you're really serious about long term, then you really need to know who you are. From you know who you are, then you know what you want. Reach. <laughs> <laughs> and when you know what you want, you put it out there. And I'm telling you, it's effortless. The audience would say, amen, sister. Right? <laughs> Least effort. If you find yourself digging and clawing and this and begging and desperate and all of that, and it's still not coming your way, you're putting in too much effort. If you're putting in too much effort, it's the wrong thing you have your eyes focused on. Correct. 100%. It's, suppo it's supposed to come to you. You're not supposed to chase it. Correct. Life should be easy. Hello. Correct. Correct. And that's deep. Like you said, I don't want, I don't, you notice I didn't touch it. I don't want to go in that. I don't want to. Because <laughs> there's so many different uh, things we can talk about. But I, I, now the question is, how do we get more men to sign up for our love space? That's the actual question. Talk to the man, them, Mark and Oliver. Talk I'd like to, to know, man, no, and if people could comment, I think that would be great. Like what, what is holding you back from? I don't think they're going to talk. I don't think, right. gonna, I think we're gonna, we need to push it. We need to stir this conversation. What, how are we going to get the more men to sign up? We're looking for what, 12 more men, 12 more or what, whatever that number is, right? Correct. Right. We're looking for 12 more men, 12 more Caribbean Canadians, men. Yes. Sign up. Single, um, single men. Single, yes, yeah. sorry, single men. <laughs> single. <laughs> right. Now let's brainstorm. What are some of the reasons? Their fear, fear of rejection. Um, I no, I'm not gonna, yeah, keep going. I okay. don't think that's what I'm next doing. one is eyes are watching. They don't yes. trust it. It's online. Yes. No, it's not private. Answer to that though. It is private, right? Somebody's always watching. Hackers, the government. Somebody's watching. No, this this is a private. Keep going. Okay, keep going. What's the next one? Yeah. Costs too much. No. Thirty dollars is too much. Thirty dollars to find your love. They're they're going to they I I you know what I, I don't I can speak for myself. They could pay for a big ticket to go places and you know like. Listen. You go to you go to, to Tim Hortons or you go and you buy a meal or you know that's like the cost of two meals, right? If if that if you're going to a fast food, you know what I mean? So come on. Next, that, what's the next one on the list? It's July 12th. I have enough time to register. It's a month away. I have enough time. I'm just gonna take my time and coast all the way to July. already you already are you if you're gonna think that. Not only that, but there's limited space. So if you take too long, and how, there could yeah, be and another how, dude how talking to your future. Yes, and how serious you are you? And I'm talking to the man now. How serious are you? And if you, if we live in a world of fast pace and instant gratification. July 12th, it's not gonna stick in your brain. It's not gonna, you're not gonna remember when July 12th comes because we're so many different things. We're busy people. Sometimes we're doing nothing, but we're still busy because your mind is occupied. 
So once you register July 12th, then you just wait for notifications. That's it. And then it's easy to put that in the back. So next, what's next? That's all I got. That was my four. What do you guys got? Um, I have one in there. I don't know what you think about adjusting to, to this virtual space as opposed to just seeing the person, right? They might want to know what the person looked like from the top down, not from the top up, right? I don't know. Is that is that something, Mark? I'm just throwing it out there. It just came to my mind. I think at this day, and it could be, it could be, but for the majority, I think people are online talking to each other, right? So it's it's just it may be that you know that that live one on one is what what's holding someone back as well. Yeah, but are people really dating online though? Are they they can talk? They have Skype in front of them, but when we're talking about initial dating, is that common enough for for well, how are you going to meet somebody today right i think that's it, it is getting more common right well, because obviously there's something that we're not talking about sorry camille go ahead no i was just saying online dating is not new and there's a lot of uh, platforms where you can in our community or in our community well oh, for our community yeah Correct. well they could be on there too but we don't talk right so we don't know but I don't, I mean, uh, men are men, women are women. And we're all, we all want, at the end of the day, regardless of your culture, we all want love, right? So. Yeah, but I, culture plays a part in how you seek love or, or how quick are you to adjust? Correct, correct. But I, I, I know for a fact that there are Caribbean Canadian people using online dating platforms, 100%. I just thought of another block. Why, Except for why, a fact? <laughs> yeah. You, I can't explain. you want to share what the, the facts are there <laughs> i've heard from friends from friends i've heard um but one other barrier as far as why the men are not registering quickly for this event is perhaps they're thinking well i'd like to see who the ladies are before i register i don't know i'm not going to sign up and not know and have to wait till july 12th to, to see who was Register, what do you guys, how do you respond to that? Leave some things for the imagination, man. Like, come see what's available, right? You, you, you want a little bit of surprise too, right? You can't just see everything. You want a little bit of surprise. That's just, I don't know. Um, when, you, when you say you live in your house to go to a jam, do you know who's gonna be there? Well, you still go, you take a chance. Oh yeah. Because I don't know if yes, right. I don't know if Jack. Yes, wherever you go, you want to find somebody. You 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 take a chance because you don't know who's going to be there. So I don't know. Well, I do want to say that for the registrants, they'll get a little mini bio uh, on each of the people that they're going to meet on July twelfth. But there probably won't be any pictures because we don't want people judging books by covers. Right, and then not coming because whatever. Because sometimes the picture is not always the most accurate. You know, you people they present themselves better when in person. Like, well, video, video, right? It's the closest we can get, right? But bios, yes, you'll get little bios on each person, so you're not coming in there completely blind, blindsided. Um, anything else? Barriers, reasons why the men are not registering. I think also you said so I, I feel men I think men more so than women would probably have set their expectations too high men right yeah yeah so online you're looking for the perfect this the perfect woman right so um you know you just keep skipping 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 because you know you're looking for a 12 out of 10 you know what I mean? Versus being realistic and dealing with 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 um, you know the, the the real world, man. You know what I mean? There's like I I said it I think on the last one. There's no perfect woman or man out there, so everyone is going to have something, some sort of flaw in your eyes. But so you can't just go out there and look for that perfect person. 
have you said that i just thought about another block camille is that what's that it could be too structured structured well yeah that's the thing about speed dating right is that it i mean the conversation is not structured you decide no, no, what you want to talk setup, about your setup is structured the setup yes it's an event that's some sort of anxiety is there i think and another thing came up on our instagram live where they 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 think that they're going to be answering a lot of quote unquote unnecessary questions right off the bat in the first five minutes Right, exactly. So again, the registrants will get notified in advance as far as the rules, you know, and the host job is to make sure that people feel comfortable and respected in our space, not overwhelmed and anxious. Could it be, could it be his lack of confidence, the two things that I just mentioned? Could it be lack of confidence? Because based on our last call on Instagram, where one person say, you know, they will have, lot, have they answered a lot of questions within two minutes and they feel interrogated. But my thing is, if you have answered to those questions or you have to think on the other, this way emotional intelligence comes in now. If you think from the other per, per, point perspective, there's a reason why they want to ask this question because they know what they're looking for. And I want to make sure I answer those so I can not waste her time. And if I don't like that question, then guess what? We'll be wasting your time. I kindly tell you that that's too personal. And if you want to know right. that right away, then we'll move on. So exactly. I think I think it could be because of, and I know we talk about this before, and I don't know why I'm still on it, but I just have this strong feeling that, um, because men, women are very independent and they know what they want and they're leaders. So I think men now sometimes not really align with a, a woman. So, so now the, the confidence issue to say, I, I don't know if I'm gonna fit anybody's description or I don't know if I'm gonna match up to people. So to now a structured environment now where, you know, Men just want to roam and kind of free and kind of, you know what? I don't need the structure. I can just go here, whatever I want, talk to the person if I want. And especially certain culture, we're talking about our community, right? Um, you know, talk to that person. If if they don't if they don't really respond to me, I just go next, right? So when it's too structured, okay, probably five, seven minutes is too much for them. I don't know. Okay, so my response to those people thinking that is try something new. Correct. Adjust. Get out of your comfort zone, as Oliver said. Try something new. It might work to your advantage. Don't yeah. start talking yourself out of things you haven't done or you've you don't have experience with or you heard negative things about before, right? Because then you could be blocking your blessings, right? So just this is something totally new. We've never had it before at this organization, Caribbean Canadian Chamber of Commerce and Community. We've never had it before. So it's gonna have a different spin, right? So try something new. At the very least, you'll, you'll walk away having a good time and maybe gaining a new friend. Win-win, you know, win-win situation. You can't lose. You may not find the one on July 12th. But there's a good possibility you might because it's like-minded people coming together for this. Everybody's coming there for the same reason. They're looking there for long-term relationships and or marriage. Now, the other thing is, I think a lot of the, like what you said, the example about some men don't like all the questions that they're getting. They feel like they're being interrogated. So you have to understand that it's only five to seven minutes. I think in those examples where men say that, it's not speed dating. Anybody coming to a speed dating event, you know you're spending all of your time asking questions. That's why you're that's why you're there, right? But it's when you're not expecting it. Maybe you're out for coffee or whatever, right? And you're not expecting to be drilled. So come with the expectation, gentlemen, that the ladies will be asking you questions and vice versa. Ladies, come with the expectation 
they're going to be asking questions. And I said, the beginning of this thing, be careful what you're asking. It should be very casual icebreaker, you know, how's, what, what do you do in your pastime? What's your favorite color? What's your favorite food? Those kinds of things, right? What, what do you do for a living? Like just really, right? Keep it mild. Because this is, yeah, you only have five to seven minutes. Keep it yeah. icebreakish. I don't yeah. know the word. <laughs> and uh, what you're looking for is a spark. You're not looking for the right answer to your question. Right? You're looking for a spark, a connection, some sort of chemistry, the way you guys are connecting, vibesing. Is it a struggle or does, you know, is she receptive? Or are you receptive? Right? Come on. I don't, hello, I'm not an expert, but I'm just telling you, it's not really the answer to the question because they may answer it wrong, you know, and still be your one. They might answer all your questions wrong and still yeah. be the one, right? That, yes, exactly. Exactly. So, that, you know, so that's the delicate balance, right? The delicate balance is really just to put yourself out there, be open, live in the present, and you're, and you're feeling for vibes, you're feeling for energy. That's what you're looking for. You're not looking for the right answer to the question. An attraction, a chemistry, a vibe, an I energy. I thought about this. No, it's going to be too structured. They have to ask, they all, you have a, you have a, a, a few ice breaking questions that yeah. they can open up with? Oh, okay. Yes, that will be given to them in advance. Okay, got it, got it. Not that they have to stick to those. Yeah. Right? But yeah. just an, sample that, yeah. questions. Yeah. That's good. Okay, let's put that out there because Nothing then- to lose, Oliver, honestly. I agree. Totally agree. Totally agree. Totally. So all of the men them, sign up. Sign up. Nothing Stop to do. Around. Stop wasting time. Yeah. The nothing longer to you do. take to register, the spaces fill up. And like I said, there's another gentleman talking to your future wife because you didn't register on time. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> right? That's a fear, fear factor. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> Wow, well said. Any last words, Mark, Oliver? Mark? My words are sign up. You never know, right? You never know, right? You, you gotta, if you put, I, I, I feel like I'm turning into that old man, but you know, I've said it many times, right? You, 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 you miss 100% of the shots that you don't take. Right, so putting it out there for the, the guys in, from a sports analogy, right? What do you got to lose? Try, I mean, if you don't shoot, you don't score, right? Just get out there and try something. That is that's it. Sad. That's that's also my last word, right? You know, win-win situation. <laughs> well said. <laughs> All right, folks. We're going to wrap it up, let you get on with your Friday evening, and we're going to be back here again. We're, we're going to be having these open dialogues leading up to July 12th, the virtual speed dating event called Caribbean Canadian Love Space. We're inviting Caribbean Canadian singles um, be, who are interested in a partner between the ages of 25 to 35, 35 to 45, or 45 to 55, or all of the above and you're looking for a heterosexual, monogamous, long-term relationship and or marriage. So to get the notification as far as when next we're going to be live, because it's not always going to be on Fridays, uh, you need to follow our pages. On Facebook, it's O-U-R-C-H-M. On Instagram, it's O-U-R-C-C-C. On Twitter, it's O-U-R-C-C-C underscore. On LinkedIn, it's O-U-R-C-C-C. You can subscribe to our newsletter. That's um, on our website. You go to our website, which is O-U-R-C-H-M dot C-A. So that you, you, know, you get notified the next time we do this live because we really want the community to be a part of this conversation. So even if you're watching this after the fact, share your comments, share your insights, share your feedback in the comments and share the actual video in your circles. Let's see if we can find love for our community members, Caribbean Canadians.
All right, so we're signing out. Thanks for tuning in. Stay safe. We'll see you again soon. Thank you. Why, why are you, why are you, um,